Hey guys, so welcome to another tutorial, and this tutorial is going to be kind of different from my other ones that I've done before. This one I'm going to be focusing on one product, and I'm going to be using it three different ways, and that is the MAC Paint Pot. And they come like this, and essentially it's like a cream eyeshadow. This one is called Coral Crepe, and this is from the newest MAC collection. I believe it's called Pret a Papier. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but the... A promotional picture has like the model she's kind of doing the bad romance type pose but anyways this is a gorgeous color and coral is my favorite color of all time so I couldn't pass it up I had to get this but I'm going to be using this as an eyeshadow base I'm gonna be using it as a lip color and I'm also gonna be using it as a blush or like a cheek color so this is a really versatile product so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and so before I put on the paint pot I'm actually going to apply Urban Decay Primer Potion because I have pretty oily lids so I always apply this before I put on any paint pot or any cream base of some sort and generally I would use just the paint pot but only if I'm going to be out for maybe two or three hours but since I'm going to be at school um, for a couple hours and then I have work right afterwards and then I'm gonna be working until tonight So I need my eyeshadow to stay on as long as it can without creasing or the colors fading or anything like that So just apply this evenly if you are going to be using a primer like this And now it is time for the star of the tutorial and this is called coral crepe coral crepe crepe um, I'm just gonna take it with my ring finger and a little goes a long way so I'm really only putting that much on my finger and then first I'm going to pat it on the areas where I want it and I want it mostly on the lid and a little bit slightly above the crease so like that much right there and then just rub it all in because these tend to dry pretty quickly and I'm gonna take a tiny bit kind of like on the edge of my finger and then I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. So now that that base is applied, I'm going to apply the lid color that is kind of like, it goes, it goes really well with the actual paint pot, but this color is kind of, I don't even know how to explain it. It's so confusing. It's like, it's coral and then it's burgundy. It, it changes a lot, but this is by Jessie's Girl and this is called Indian Summer. And I have another tutorial using this eyeshadow, so I'll put the link in the information box down there but I really like this color and I'm just going to take a 239 brush and I already have some on my lid my little lid for the eyeshadow and I'm just going to tap it off and then this is just going to go all over the lid and make sure you pat it on because this is a loose eyeshadow so you don't want it to lose all that luster or that color and then take it up slightly past the crease. Just like basically put it where you have your base color, the paint pot. So that's pretty much it for the lid and then I'm going to go into this outer corner, the outer V and then the crease and for that I only use one color. And this is my new MAC palette. I finally got one of these and I have a post Easter makeup haul coming up and I'll mention this in it because I depotted some of my eyeshadows and put it in here. But I'm going to take this color right here, and this is called Espresso, and I use this color a lot. It's a matte um, dark brown, and it's just a perfect color. So I have some on my 219, and I'm going to um, define the outer V of my eye. And you're gonna have to build up on this depending on um, how intense you want it. I want it pretty deep, so we're just gonna keep building it up and blending it out. And we're just focusing on the outer V, so um, don't worry about the crease for right now. Just focus on this outer V and getting it nice and blended and to the truest color intensity that you want it. Okay, now I'm going to go back into my espresso color. And then I'm just going to shade in my crease. And this one is the same thing like the outer V. You can build it up to the truest intensity that you want. Mine's pretty deep on the outside and then it kind of fades into a softer looking brown. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do on this eye. Now I'm going to take my highlight color and I'm using this one right here and it's called Samoa Silk. 
And it's a Velux finish, but it shows up pretty matte. It's a very sheer color, that, so this is like a really good highlight color for medium skin tones. And it doesn't show up like straight up peach. It's a very sheer wash of color. And then just go ahead and blend out where those two lines meet. I'm going to go back into my 219 brush with a little espresso, and then I'm going to put some on my lower lash line. And this can be messy. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be blending out with a, another color when we put the black in our waterline and our lower lash line. And then if you want to connect it up here, you can do that as well. Okay, so now I'm going to take black eyeliner. This is the Urban Decay Eyeliner in Zero. And then a really slight line on your upper lash line. I'm going to take an angled brush, and this is a MAC 208 brush, I think. And I'm going to take, what's this color, right here. This is called Satin Taupe. And I'm going to blend out where that um, black eyeliner on the lower lash line is. So that way the black smudges out, but it also has like that nice taupey undertone. Yeah, just, just blend this out really effortless and then you want to get that smoky look just like on this eye and then I'm just gonna smudge out this upper line and that's it and once you've done that you can curl your eyelashes and put on mascara and I'm gonna zoom you out so we can continue using our coral so I already paint put pot. on lip balm um, it's just regular lip balm and I put that on so that way when I get to my lips they're nice and moisturized but anyways I'm going to take some on my pinky or this isn't my pinky take some on my ring finger and I'm going to start with my cheeks and then I'm gonna smile and then the guideline for putting on blush is um, anything past, is it a finger or two fingers? I think, I guess it's one finger, but anyways, this will be my guideline. You know what, I'll do two. And then the blush is going to go right here. So just put that on and then blend it upwards. Just like that. And since these dry pretty quickly and they dry to like kind of like a powdery feel, um, it's just going to act like a powder blush. Alright, and then I'm going to do the same thing on my other cheek. So. Alright. So, it's pretty sheer, but if you want to add more color, you can. I don't know if my, my camera's gonna pick it up, but I have like that slight wash of coral on my cheeks. Really pretty. You can kind of see okay, it on Okay, so that's side. pretty much it for the cheeks. And now I'm going to use it as my lip color. So, actually let me zoom in so you guys can see this better. It's kind of hard to talk and put on lip color at the same time. And I'm going to put a gloss on top of my Coral Grey paint pot. So I'm going to use, what do I have? I'm going to use this Jessie's Girl Formula 13 lip gloss. And this is in the shade, or the color, Papaya. And it's a really sparkly pink. I don't know if my camera is going to pick up all the sparkles. But this is a really pretty color. So I'm just going to actually take some on my pink, or my ring finger. I keep calling this my pinky. I'm just going to dab it on. And there you have it. So this is your finished look. And I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys um, find more purpose to the paint pot than just using it as an eyeshadow base. And um, if you do um, plan on investing in a paint pot, I say go for it because these things are very multifunctional. And the pigmentation on them is amazing. And they last you a really long time. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for supporting my channel, everyone. You guys are all really awesome. And I will see you guys in the next video. So have a great day. Bye.